Hello there and welcome to Inquiring Minds. My name is Doug and I'm back with another shorty video and the first in a series of how-to videos. I'm going to keep these short and to the point. Today's how-to shorty is on how to fill a cartridge or cartridge converter fountain pen. A converter converts your pen from a cartridge to allow you to use bottled ink instead of pre-packaged cartridges. Most converters are the piston type like this and work by sucking ink up through the nib and feed into the converter when you turn the knob and retract the piston. There are also converters that have a slider control instead of a rotating knob, just like this Parker, or a push-pull rod like on this Caveco. Some big name companies like Parker, Schaefer, Pilot, Platinum and Sailor will have their own proprietary converters because of course they do. They want to sell their own ink. Other companies go with standard international size cartridges and converters like this Waterman branded high-end standard international converter which have a 3.5 millimeter bore size. When using a cartridge, one end of the cartridge has a sealed opening which you press into the section of the pen. You press it in hard enough to break that seal and with some of them it pushes a little plastic ball into the cartridge itself which acts as an agitator. There is a tube in the section that will either pierce the end of the cartridge or push a tiny plastic or metal pellet into the cartridge to open it up and allow the ink to flow. Once the cartridge is inserted you'll have to wait a few minutes with the nib pointed down for the ink to flow down to the nib and for the pen to write. Pilot cartridges have a tiny disc that gets pressed inside the cartridge but if you remove them and reinsert them, that disc can get lodged in the cartridge and actually stop the ink flow. So if you use a syringe to fill your cartridge with bottled ink, like I do with my Pilot E95S, make sure you remove that little disc with some tweezers before refilling. Once the cartridge is in, don't press or worse, hit the nib on the page to get it writing. It won't work and will probably hurt the pen. To use the cartridge converter, open the pen, turn or push the piston up towards the nib and dip the nib of the pen into your ink bottle making sure to immerse the feed to the filler hole which is usually at the top of the feed towards the section. And keeping the nib submerged, turn or pull the piston up and ink will be drawn into the converter. Keep the pen submerged in the ink and repeat the process. And you'll push out any air bubbles drying back up again and if you still have an air bubble there as you can see I've got a not a complete fill I can turn the nib up turn the converter knob and you can see ink bubbling and once I get a bunch of ink right at the top there that air bubble is now there that air bubble is now gone I can push the pen nib back in the ink and draw the piston back up the rest of the way wipe your nib and feed and section on a tissue and reassemble the pen and you're ready to write. If you set your pen aside for some time, so some of the ink might have evaporated in the feed, you can turn the nib up and rotate that piston again, watching the feed to get the air out of it and get some ink up into that feed. You can also turn the nib down and force a drop of ink out onto a tissue to prime that feed and you're ready to write. And there you have it. Thank you for watching. I made this.